Hi, this is Zoe from Fox and Moon Tea, and today I want to share with you one of the spring harvest teas that have arrived at foxandmoon.com. And it is the oolong from High Mountain region in Nantou, Taiwan, called Four Seasons. And this is one of the favorites of our customers at Fox and Moon Tea. And I will share with you what the leaves look like. So this tea is hand rolled, produced with a tight ball roll and it is um, kind of an army green range. It's a mid oxidation on the tea. And I have just boiled my water to 205 Fahrenheit. And I'm going to pre-rinse and warm the teaware. So today is kind of a, a warmer spring day where I'm at, and this particular oolong I really enjoy in this season. It's very refreshing. In one of my tea sourcing trips to Nanto, Taiwan, I was able to enjoy this tea um, prepared also in a dish which was great. I really like culinary tea explorations. Um, I'll tell you about that in just a minute. So I'm doing, um, this is about a two ounce gaiwan, and I'm doing a little more than half a teaspoon. And we're going to steep this for about a minute. So as I was mentioning, um, when I was in Nanto, the tea producer created a dish, um, which was a steamed rice and mushroom uh, dish in bamboo. And then it was also steamed with this oolong. And I will never forget it. It was a beautiful dish and really lovely moment to share with the tea producer. And of course we drank lots of tea and got tea drunk <laughs> in the process. So I'm just making sure that the bubbles on the surface of the, the water have dissipated and I'm also moving the water so that it's um, making the leaves swirl inside and it's getting an even steeping. So this tea um, is particularly suited for porcelain and I would recommend Gaiwan, but you can also use a teapot of your choosing. And um, if you already use glass, it's a different kind of temperature range and what it retains. So the steep may taste a little differently, but you can enjoy the leaves that way. So. Making sure I get all of the last liquid out. So we can enjoy every drop of the tea and the often the um, steep in the very bottom of the gaiwan is the, the strongest in the flavor. The other thing you want to do is make sure that you crack the lid open um, after you've steeped it so that the tea doesn't get too hot or, or cook, as we say. Uh, so smelling the aroma off of the lid to get a sense of the flavors that are going to come. Very buttery and floral almost a gardenia um, aroma. And I'll show you what the steeped leaves look like. So this tea uh, will hold up for many subsequent infusions. You definitely want to enjoy it over time and let the leaves really open up and it'll, it'll evolve as the leaves are opening. And with each infusion, um, I would recommend adding, you know, like five to 10 seconds in the additional steeping time. So this is what the leaves look like right now. And you can see that they are still retaining some of their rolled shape. And then I'll show you the tea liqueur, which is a really nice bright golden yellow. So in Taiwan, one of the, the main characteristics that they appreciate and really um, bring out in their tea production is the aroma. And they developed, I believe it was in the late 70s, early 80s, the aroma cups. So 
the purpose of this cup is to really, hence the name, to appreciate the aroma of the tea. So how it works is you put tea in the sniffer part, which is this tall receptacle. And then you put the cup on top and then you flip it and it creates a, a little vacuum. So when you take the sniffer cup off, you want to twist it and pull up and then you smell the tea. Mm. Lovely refreshing tea for spring. So this is Fox and Moon Tea and I'm Zoe Guthrie. Please join us on the 9th of May, 2021 for our spring tea tasting. And you can register at foxandmoontea.com. Thanks for joining us.